Hey guys, it's Greg from East Coast Dots, and I've got a Carolina Blue Nike Lakota for you guys. Uh, a lot of you might recognize this head from an article on ILGear.com. They contacted me to dye and string some heads for them for the, uh, for the launch of their website, and I had this head around to be my game stick, and I strung it up and really, really liked the way it turned out with the color combination and everything like that. So I figured I'd hand it over to them and uh, let them take some pictures of it while they had another head I had done for them. So I uh, really like the way it turned out. I strung it just like I string all my Lakotas. Um, there's a tutorial for that, a detailed sidewall tutorial. Uh, so if you search around for that, maybe I'll link it for you. Uh, I did one for it. So it's got uh, it's Carolina Blue with, this is Jimalax Neon Yellow. And it's not technically neon yellow, and the shooting strings are. I've talked about it a couple times. It doesn't match the Volt Lakotas. But it is a really cool looking yellow, and it is bright, and it does glow. And I don't know what made me do the neon yellow with the Carolina blue, um, but it does like, end up looking pretty cool. Uh, so I like it. So if you're looking for something to match your Volt Lakota, do not buy Jimalax Neon Yellow Sidewall. But you could buy it if you're not looking to match it and for another head because it does look pretty cool. Uh, this head has a mid to mid to high pocket. Uh, shift around a little bit, strung with East Coast Mesh. Uh, it's got one nylon, weaved, two U's weaved as well. Uh, very, a nice channel. Uh, really, the ball will shift right up and sit under that bottom shooter uh, when I go to take some shots. Uh, so I'm a big fan. I'm going to get a haywire shaft, uh, probably a black one or a Carolina blue one for this head to go on. Um, just real quick, if you guys don't feel like searching for the tutorial, I'll throw the pattern at you. Um, tie third with an interlock on that in the same hole as the tie, just to wrap around. Zero, zero, knot, zero, knot. Then you're going to come down and you're not going to put any holes of mesh on between the knot and tie it down to the next one. And then a three, a one, a one, a one, and a one. Or right, that last one's an interlock. And so a lot of people ask me why. I went from that last knot to not putting any mesh holes to the next tie down and that's just to move this next hole of mesh down a little bit so it uh, pulls the channel just a little bit tighter before my triple up. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, subscribe, throw me a like if you like this video. Find us on Facebook, just search East Coast Dyes and uh, find us on Twitter. Thanks.